Hey guys, what's up? It's Uniform Warrior, and today we have another custom paracord tutorial. So I came up with this one the other day, and as far as I know, I haven't seen it before. If there is someone who's like made this before, then go ahead and let me know in the comments. But for now, it is mine. <laughs> so for this, you are going to need three colors. I use a dark blue, kind of light blue, I think it's called Caribbean or something like that, and then a white. You need about eight feet of each, obviously depending on the bracelet size, but that's what I went with. I did have some left over though. And then your first step is actually going to be to take your two main colors, for me I did the two blues, and then cut off the ends and then go ahead and melt them together. If you don't think you get, got a good enough seal on the cords, then go ahead and take them apart and do it again. You don't want it to come apart when you're in the middle of doing the bracelet because that sucks. Then go a little off of that melted spot and then go ahead and put a bend in the cord and then measure that around your wrist. Here I make it a little bigger than you actually probably want to. Go ahead and make it so it comes in contact with the other side of the bracelet. So then you're going to want to go ahead and bend the cord there. Then you're just going to do a cobra stitch. So go ahead and take your left cord, put it over the middle two strands. Take your right cord, put it over that strand and then back behind the middle two strands and up through the left loop. Then just go ahead and tighten that. After you finish this, you want to make sure that you then check the length of it against your wrist again and make sure it's just touching the other side, but no more, no less. And then you're going to go ahead and bend those two cords back along the middle two cords all the way down to the end. And then you're going to want to kind of do... I don't know what it's called if it has a name, but it's kind of like a weird cobra stitch almost. But basically you're just going to take the bottom right cord, it is going to go down through that middle loop, and then pull it off to the left. And then you're going to take your left cord and it is going to also go down through that middle loop then pull it off to the right. And then you're going to take that right cord and put it up through that right loop. And then you're going to take the left cord and put it up through the left loop. When doing this, make sure you don't confuse the loops because sometimes if you tighten them too much, it gets a little confusing. Then you're just going to want to tighten that. Don't tighten it so much that it becomes out of shape though. You want to make sure it stays the same shape and everything stays in line.
So here you're gonna do another cobra stitch. This time it's gonna be an actual cobra stitch, not like the last one. So you're gonna wanna take whichever color you want to be in the middle of the bracelet. So you're gonna wanna take that color and then you're going to put it over the middle four strands. Then you're gonna take the other color, put it around that strand behind the middle four strands and up through the left loop. And then you're just gonna wanna tighten that. Once again, make sure they don't lose shape. You want all those four strands to be in line. You don't want them to overlap. And then you're actually going to take your third color, so for me the white, and then you're just going to pull it up through the back of the bracelet. And just give a little bit of slack and just leave it there. Then go ahead and make sure you tighten the cobra stitch again. And this is where the first part of the braid begins. So basically all you're gonna do is you're gonna take the white and you're just gonna go around the four middle strands in front and then behind the four middle strands and then around the four middle strands again. And you're basically just gonna do a spiral all the way down. Once again, while doing this, you wanna make sure all four strands stay in line with each other. You don't want them to overlap at all because then it'll make the braid a little bit too thick and just kind of weird and inconsistent. So go ahead and keep doing that all the way down to the bracelet. After every few spirals, go ahead and make sure you pull the spirals up towards the top of the bracelet. Then just keep doing this, make sure it's, making sure it's nice and tight. Now when you get down to the bottom, you actually want to leave one space or just do it all the way down to the bottom and then you can just worry about it when you get there with the other cords. So this is basically part two of the bracelet. Now you're gonna go ahead and take the same cord that you used for the front of the Cobra stitch last time and how you can check is you want to see whichever one has that loop in the front is the one that you want to use. So for my case, it is the light blue. And then you're going to put it over the middle section and then take the left strand, put it over that light blue strand back behind the middle section and up through that right loop. And you're just going to want to tighten that. And then for the next cobra stitch, you wanna alternate. So you're gonna do the left side. So once again, you can check to make sure because it has that dark loop on the left there. So take that left side, put it over the middle section, take the right cord over that left cord behind the middle section and up through the left loop. And then you're just gonna wanna keep alternating throughout this going down the bracelet. When you do this, when you tighten the cobra stitches, make sure you don't tighten them so that they pull the white part up or pull that out of its place at all because that will make it look weird. So don't you don't have to tighten the cobra stitches too much, just enough to make them all look the same. So you're just gonna wanna, like I said, keep doing the cobra stitches down to the bottom. And then once you get down to the very bottom, you're gonna wanna unwrap, depending on where you put the white cord, for me, since it's in the front there, you're gonna wanna unwrap it halfway till it gets to the back. And then go ahead and tighten that cobra stitch, that last cobra stitch that you did. And if you have space, then do one more.
So now at the end there should be two different strands. One should be the one color that you used and the other one should be the second color. So for me the light blue and the dark blue. And those two strands will be going down through the middle of the bracelet and those are the strands that you want to loosen. Once you loosen those make sure you pull the cord down through the loop and then you're just going to want to pull that all the way through. Also try not to loosen those too much. Loosen them just enough for the cord to go through. So now you're going to go ahead and clip the white strand, so go back up to the top and then just leave a little bit of slack enough to burn, then go ahead and cut and burn that. Go ahead and do the second white cord, so cut that and when you're doing this if you have a lighter like mine where the flame is pretty powerful and it'll go sideways if you put it like that, make sure you don't get any other parts of the bracelet because I've done that before and that always sucks. So when you're planning on where you're going to burn it, just make sure, look ahead so to speak, just to make sure you're not going to hurt any other part of the bracelet. So now you're going to pull those two strands through the other end of the bracelet. So you want to make sure that you find the right loops for this. They should be the ones on the corners, it won't be the one on the top. So go ahead and pull those strands through. So once you pull those through, you're just going to want to try on the bracelet and put it around the largest part of your hand and go ahead and mark that spot so you know where to tie the knot. So for this bracelet, since it is a semi-thick bracelet, I decided to go with a lanyard knot this time, which is a semi-complicated knot. So if you have a problem doing this knot, you can just do a square knot. Like I said, that knot will look a little small compared to this thick bracelet. Anyway, so for the first step of the lanyard knot, you're going to go ahead and divide the two strands with your hand and the light blue strand you're just gonna make a little loop and then you're gonna turn the loop in so if you look at that corner right there the light blue strand is going off to the right that strand is under the first part of the light blue strand so then you're just gonna go ahead and grab your dark blue strand and pull it under that strand going off to the right and then just go ahead and pull the dark blue strand up Then go ahead and put it under the dark blue strand that's in that circle there. So it should go over, under, over, and then pull it off to the left. And now if you look, we have kind of this figure eight shape. And so if, you, if yours looks like this, then you're doing it right. You wanna take the right strand, and it is just gonna go around in a circle, counterclockwise, and it is gonna just pass that first dark blue strand, the one that connects down to the bracelet, and then you're going to pull it under all those strands and up through the middle of that figure eight. So then you're going to go ahead and do the same with the dark blue. So again, take the dark blue strand, bring it counterclockwise until you go past that first light blue strand that connects down to the bracelet. Once you pass that, pull the strand up through the middle. Then after that, you're just gonna wanna go ahead and tighten the knot. When doing this, be careful. Try to make sure everything stays in place. Don't pull one strand too much. This knot does look a little weird with two different colors, but I think it ended up looking pretty cool. So what I didn't show here is the 30 minutes that I spent tightening this knot and trying to put it in the exact right place because that took me forever. <laughs> but once you do get the knot there, make sure you go ahead and try it around your hand again, around the largest part of your hand, just to make sure that it fits. Then you're just going to want to clip the strands at the end of the knot, go ahead and melt those, and then you can press them down into the knot if you want to, but I ended up not doing that.
and then you're done. Anyway guys, that is the end of the video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it because it is custom. It's a new bracelet that I came up with as far as I know, like I said. But if you guys do like the design and you want to see more bracelets like this, then go ahead and let me know in the comments. Also, do you guys prefer the more laid back tutorial like I think this one is where there's less cuts throughout the editing and just more of showing what I'm actually doing, which ends up being a longer tutorial, or do you like the shorter, faster ones that you can just kind of watch quickly? Anyway, please let me know in the comments if you do have a preference, and as always, thanks for watching. Also, what do you guys think of my new outro card? I added it to the last video too, I think, but I think it's pretty sick.